go hand in hand with the new release of 4.30a, I'm just going to quickly go through the new automatic sectioning tools and automated section plotting tools that we've now introduced into the latest update of Enforce. I'm quickly going to run up the multiple section tool. So I preset the spacing. I'm going to de-densify the data so that we don't end up with overload of information. So it's going to de-densify it down to a five centimeter grid. I'm going to commit the baselines with a BL code. I'm also going to extract the points with the SL code. I'm going to extract images and they're going to be defaulted to 4K and a PNG extension. So I'm going to press commit now and it's going to ask me where I want to put them. So I'm just going to put them in this folder now and let the routine go. So it's been sending points to the model in the background and it's now going through the export process of the images. Note that I've also increased the pixel size so that when we take these sections and plot them out in a minute, the points are actually a bit more visible. So the section has been set to centimeter thick so that we don't again create too many points for our sections. Obviously you can configure this depending on the type of data that you're using. Okay, so those sections have all been created. I'm going to close down the view, redraw this one, and there's all my section data. I'm now going to go to the sectioning tool and run the new tunnel sections option. So I have the option here ticked to go into the special mode that deals with data extracted from a point cloud. I'm using codes that I've already defined. So I'm using BF my baseline. It's going to create TP points for the tunnel profile and it's going to best fit a circle and create a point called CP if I enable add center points at their centers. I can click on create report so it will generate a report showing me the calculated centers of all the circles and also their diameters and also the deviation of the data from that circle to the maximum min points on the section. I won't bother doing that for now. I'm just going to press OK. Here are all the baselines it's found. You can reorder them if they're not in the correct order because the data could come in from ordinary topo survey from a total station. It doesn't necessarily have to come in from a, a point cloud. That's why this is a separate process. I'm going to press OK. So here we have the first section and the next section and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. As you can see, there's places that I need to tidy up. Um, so I'm going to fast forward. Here we go. Here's one now. So this needs to be tidied up. So we've added some new tools to help there. So I'm just going to go to the delete by rectangle tool and delete all those points. Now I need to reconfigure the calculation for the best fit circle. So I'm going to click on recalc by rectangle. And all I need to do is just define a rectangle or a series of rectangles and then right click. And then it will redefine, recalculate the best fit circle. So it just needs to be done for all the profiles and then they can be committed. So having taken the sections in the point cloud engine and tidied them up in the section preview, I'm now going to plot them in a CAD model in Enforce. So under sections, I'm going to go plot multi. There's my section database. There's all my sections. I'm going to use the current defaults as they are. So 100, 100, so the horizontal and vertical scales are matched. And I'm just going down a little bit more than I'm going above just to give me room uh, for annotation stuff below. I'm also going to plot the section images as well behind the sections. I press OK and I'm just going to define a big box to fit all the sections in. So you can choose now how you want the columns and the rows ordered and the spacings between them. I'm just going to press OK. So there are all the sections. And if I zoom in now, we can see how they look. OK. And all I need to do now, uh, obviously, is edit them or play with them, tidy them as I need to. And then I can just export straight away into AutoCAD. So if I go home, export, I must remember to export into the same folder as the images are saved. Otherwise, AutoCAD won't be able to find those images. So I just call this one tunnel sections. I'm not worried about doing it in 3D. So I'll just do OK there. OK, now I'm going to open up TrueView. OK, here they all are in TrueView. Thanks for watching the video.